What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bree. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. So your girl got another haul for y'all. So of course um, from the last video y'all saw I did what I would put in my Sephora cart, what you need, all the things. So actually no that is a spring video. It was one of the two. Go back and watch them though. <laughs> so anyways, of course, I got to come back with a haul, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So I did get a few products from the Sephora sale. One is still on the way, which I'll mention um, later on in the video. But I also did get some goodies from Ulta and I also attended a master class with Key Soul Care. So I figured I would just lump all of that in together because it's a Sephora video. I mean, I know y'all like quick videos, but the Sephora video would have been super quick because I got like four or five products or so like we, I don't want to like, you know, spend too much time talking about them because I just did a video for y'all of like what y'all should be purchasing and most of those products I did purchase. So I just wanted to kind of add in. So it's going to be a full beauty haul, but mainly featuring Sephora, of course, but then we're going to toss in some Ulta and all the things. So yeah, but before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you share the video so everybody else knows what to shop for because the sale is still going on by the time this video does go up and I believe um, it will be open for everybody at that time. So you can either be saving 20%, 15% or 10%. Um, and I do believe that the sale does end um, next week uh, uh, sometime. Sorry, I'll have like the official date somewhere here on the screen. I'll have it in front of me, unfortunately. But yeah, but make sure you are subscribed, share the video, give the video a thumbs up comment down below if you have shopped the sale already um, what did you purchase and then also um, tell me if you haven't shopped already what you do plan on purchasing if I influenced you and whatnot <laughs> so yeah so let's go ahead and get into it okay so of course we got the good old Sephora bag I will say when I first picked it up it was in a small bag <laughs> but I do believe it's because the one item that I ordered online I did buy online pick up in store it unfortunately was out of stock by the time they fulfilled my order so I did have to get it online so I'll just go ahead and pop into that um, item first so I did go ahead and get the milk hydro grip the setting spray um, I believe it's the let me double check y'all sorry I have my little stuff over here so I already have this primer so this is the milk I swear everything's in um, like black letters <laughs> the pore eclipse mattifying primer so I got the pore eclipse mattifying setting spray so I heard it is the oily girl's dream for the summer just making sure everything is set in place all the things so like I said I have been kind of um, using this one I've been using it a little bit more lately which I'm kind of glad I got the travel size um, I would probably upgrade to the full size but I have so many primers y'all that it's just kind of it's too much but I did go ahead and get the setting spray so I do plan on doing a full video of me trying some of the products that I purchased because I feel like I can use them all in one video so yeah so stay tuned for that Okay, so next up, hopefully this bag isn't like blocking my view of every, or y'all's view of me basically. So I got my hands on a foundation. I usually always get a foundation during the sale because foundations can be very pricey. So that would be the time to purchase one. Um, so I can't like fully, fully, fully recommend this one just yet because I have not tried it. As you can see, it's still in the box, but I've heard good things about it. So this is the KBD Beauty, the Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. So I think when it initially came out, when people heard serum foundation, they initially thought like tinted moisturizer kind of light coverage um, but the reviews that I have seen on this product it is definitely like full coverage and I'm usually a full coverage girl um, just because I like to be glam basically so I can you know do some tinted moisturizers lighter coverage I tend to do those on like my no makeup makeup days where I just want to put on something but don't want full full glam like what you see here basically um, but yeah so I'm like, super excited about this one and I got this in the shade tan which is 074 um so this was the shade recommended to me on sephora's website when i matched up the sephora best skin ever liquid foundation that's another one that you should try and that one you would get 30 percent off um but i am shade 55 in it's a little dark but once it like settles into the skin and i do like highlighter and everything it works great for me right now so this was the shade that they recommended so i'm super excited about it you know let me go ahead and take it out the package oh it's got the little plastic sorry I didn't want to like rip it <laughs> in the event I gotta take it back uh, this look a little light y'all I don't know so we'll see so this is the packaging super pretty um oh yeah got the pump all the things so yeah so hopefully it looks good on the skin like I said this was a shade I may go ahead and go back in the store and make sure this is the correct one um just so I'm not using a product that they can put back on the shelf basically to see if this is the correct shade 
what we got here Ooh, my favorite okay so i did go ahead i told y'all i was gonna get this the glow recipe the strawberry bha pore smooth blur drop so pore refining and blurring it's like a serum so treatment and primer um so heard good things about this one um y'all know i'll be trying to blur some pores um i feel like sometimes my pores i mean like everybody you're gonna have pores basically but i feel like sometimes my makeup like automatically like settles into them and whatnot so i wanted to give this a try and i love the glow recipe product so this one you can use under your makeup kind of like a primer you could still use primer but this would be something that you would put on directly after your moisturizer i believe and then oh yeah so if you want to use it as a pore treatment um you can pat it on to cleanse and tone skin am or pm to target target excess oil and refine the appearance of pores and then you want to follow with the moisturizer so this is if you're just trying to get rid of pores blur pores if you don't even wear makeup you could still use this product now if you are wanting to use it as a blurring primer this is going to be the last step of your skincare routine so even after sunscreen wear your sunscreen <laughs> um, and then you want to make sure that you allow it to absorb fully and you could even use this as a touch-up you can apply it to your oiliest areas now that always freaks me out because I just feel weird putting products on top of my makeup um, and I actually had a makeup artist just recommend that she or take the back she actually tried it she just took a brush put a little bit of it and like patted it into my skin basically and it worked so I was just like I need to try this so yep so this is the packaging super cute and it's something that even if you do decide to touch up with something like this it's super small and compact so you can keep it you know in your purse and it's one fluid ounce so it's travel friendly so I'm super excited about it. I'm curious if it smells like strawberry I'll have to report back y'all I don't smell it now I put lotion on my hands like right before I started filming so yeah but I am super excited to try this all right so next up I have this product it might be going back but I'll explain why later on in the video but I still wanted to feature because I still have it um one thing I didn't care for um like I said I did buy online pick up a store the box is dirty so I know you know things get dirty in the store but come on now <laughs> Sephora. um but I've been wanting to try the super goop sunscreen so this is the unseen sunscreen SPF 40 um so I went ahead and did or got the um what's it called like the travel size version um just to see if I even like it to upgrade to the full size um so this is it she's cute like I said it didn't look like it had been tampered with you know initially or whatever I mean do they even come with okay yeah it's a lot of safety still on it so I don't nobody like touched it or nothing um but yeah but I've been wanting to try this but I actually got my hands on another sunscreen which once like I said I'll feature it towards the end of this video so yeah so this one might go back and I might go see if I can get my hands on the milk concealer I did not get a you know spoiler I did not get a concealer in this haul but once I got that sunscreen I'm like okay I might take this little guy back because this was 22 bucks and I think a, a regular size is around like the $30 range or so so yeah so this might go back but if you are traveling and you love the super goop um, sunscreen now would be the time to get it because it's super cute and compact and I feel like this is even something that you can throw in a bag and it's not too bulky basically all right so the next few purchases were kind of impulse i ended up going with my mom back to sephora over the weekend because she needed some cleanser put her onto the fresh um soy face cleanser which is amazing um but anyways while i wasn't there of course i just couldn't help myself i had to get something else but <laughs> got my hands on a sephora palette um sephora collection eyeshadow palette so of course this would be 30 percent off and i think normally it's about like 15 bucks so yeah so this is their destinations and the colors just got me i was definitely that person in the line this is like a last minute like oh this is so pretty i'm gonna try it um and i've heard really good things about the um sephora eyeshadow palettes and i was just like you know what let me let me try one i do actually have another one which i have done a full face of sephora products so um i'll try to have that video link somewhere here on the screen if you're on the mobile app but look into get into it y'all this is so pretty this just screams like summer and i just saw like a pretty like neutral look but then taking like this turquoise shade and doing it as like an under eye like for the pop of color um and i just feel like these are like the perfect even like neutral shades even if you're traveling um i would say I, well you know i feel like everybody could get away with this palette i feel like if you are a lighter skin tone than me some of these might be too dark but they could be really good like transition I'm not transition like contour what am I trying to say like outer be you know um eyeshadow if you put you know stuff on the outer corners of your eye or um if you just want to do one color all over the lid with like some mascara or eyeliner that would work perfectly but like if you are my scum 
my skin tone, excuse me, <laughs> or a little bit darker, you would love these shades. So they had a bunch of these palettes um, and they were all really pretty. But this one, like I said, just stuck out to me because it's cute. And this is um, travel friendly, I feel like as well. And I love that it even comes with a mirror. So that's even better. So you don't have to worry about traveling with the mirror if you're a person that can just like, you know, use one of these, <laughs> use one of these as like your mirror to get your makeup done, then by all means, I'm usually like, I need a full makeup. I need not makeup, <laughs> I need a full mirror. <laughs> I need everything so I can really see what I'm doing. But this definitely caught my eye. Okay, so next up is going to be some lip products. Um, I need to make sure I do not have this because y'all know I am notorious for purchasing things that I think I need and then I already have one here. And I don't think I have this one, but I'm gonna double check because I don't, definitely do not need to. <laughs> uh, but I did get my hands on a Sephora. This is their Rouge, Rouge Gel Lip Liner, excuse me. And this is in the shade Molax, Molasses. So it's like a pretty like chocolatey brown. So once again, I'm gonna see if I have it. And I believe it comes with a sharpener on the end so if that's something that you because this is like a gel so it's kind of hard to um you can sharpen it but sometimes the shape kind of gets a little wonky so this will kind of bring a shape back and stuff but yeah got that then also got a new lip product like i need a lip, another lip product but I feel like i've heard good things about this one so this is their um what's it called cream lip stain and this is in the shade bubble bath 119 i went in there for shade 66 um i had watched a tiktok a girl was talking about everybody needs it couldn't find any number 66 <laughs> at all there so i think i saved the video so i'm gonna try to go back and see um exactly which product she was talking about she actually worked at sephora so she was just walking through the store sharing what you should purchase but i just feel like this is like a pretty kind of pinkish nude it kind of matches what i have on today which is sad because i'm just like girl you already had this product why <laughs> but like i said i went in there and just kind of was like oh i want this so yeah so some of these i might be kind of switching out for some other stuff so if i do that in the next video when i'm trying these products i would definitely keep you all posted but i still think this is a pretty like pinkish kind of shade as well Okay, so that is it for the Sephora haul. So I got like one, two, three, four, five, six products. I'm not too shabby. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. So let's go ahead and switch into the rest of the beauty haul. So next up, I went to um, Nordstrom with my mom and they were having a Dior event and I've been wanting to try the Dior lip oil. Finally got my hands on it. Um, so I just did Universal Clear because um, I can be just a clear lip gloss girl. I can do a full beat, but putting on a lipstick sometimes not so much or i forget to put it back on during the day so at least kind of putting something clear on is good um now it's a little pricey i will say um, i think it retails for this might retail for 40 dollars and stuff i had a discount though but retails for 40 bucks so just use it as you please but i do think well i'm also mentioning it because sephora does carry this in store when it's actually in stock so if you are you know convinced by what i share with you today then <laughs> you can buy at sephora too but i got mine from nordstrom so oh, this packaging is super pretty i have not used this so i think the little um applicator it does have like a little pinkish tint to it um i will say stuff like this you want to either put it on your hand directly if you already have something on your lips because um, this little applicator it can transfer and it can start affecting the color inside i've done that with my juvia's plates um or juvia yeah juvia's place lip gloss and it's kind of like a pinkish color like it still comes off clear but i feel like it kind of alters it but this packaging is super pretty so i will definitely make sure when i use this that it's on the days that i do not have on any like lipstick um and it says it has a cherry oil but i did try it in store kind of gives a cherry kind of scent but yeah it is just super pretty it was super moisturizing which i'm like i expect nothing less one is dior and then two it was forty dollars so um so yeah so i'm happy to add this to the collection i've heard like you know like i said a bunch of great things about it so i was like hey add to cart add to cart add to bag so i got that okay and then so oh actually i forgot to mention so um i was actually ha helping a customer in the store i do not work for nordstrom y'all <laughs> um so yeah so she was asking me what i thought of the foundation that she had on her skin one was a little bit lighter she was a, a fair complexion but she kind of had a little bit of like olive undertones basically um so one was a little bit warmer and the other one was a little lighter so initially i told her she should go for the lighter one and then you know if she used bronzer and everything then she could warm it up but she said that she doesn't really use bronzer like that so she went with the lighter complexion or like excuse me the the one that had like a little bit more of like a warmer tint but i was just like that looks really pretty on you i was like what what are you using so um the salesperson actually gave me a sample which i really want to try so this is the forever new dior this is their iconic hydrating glow foundation so it promises 24 hour wear i don't think anybody wearing makeup for 24 hours unless you just sleep with your makeup on <laughs> but i love it because it came with the primer and then it also came with what three six 
eight shades so I can definitely you know try them out and I feel like it's a good enough size to get pretty much a full face but based on the picture it seems like it's a pretty light coverage um and this is what the products look like here um so yeah so I'm excited to try it I'm kind of nervous because if I love it then it's just one more foundation <laughs> um but yeah but I just feel like it's super pretty I feel like glowy foundations are making a comeback especially for now spring and especially into summer for those warmer months everybody just wants that glowy skin um so yeah so I'm excited to try this so once I do I will report back my braids ain't doing nothing crazy I kind of did like a little side you know deep side part today but yeah <laughs> anyways I know they move around so let's switch over into Ulta I know I got Ulta in a Sephora bag my bad but it is actually what I am wearing today um, I did um, film a little reel of me using these products I think I want to do a full video but I gotta test it out first before I present it you know fully on YouTube but um, that video will be coming soon I know these products have already kind of been out but I gotta give the BFF touch <laughs> so I finally got my hands on the Juvia's Place the new like skin complexion products um, these actually were on sale last week with Ulta um, once again make sure you are following me on Instagram I have my Instagram always linked down below but um, they finally ran them on sale so I was like perfect score and I got to use a coupon on top of it so yes <laughs> so I got my hands on the I am magic this is the natural radiance foundation and this is in the shade um, Malawi so I saw um, Natasha s or Tasha washa on Instagram um, I consider her my shade twin so I had originally purchased the light shade but after I just kept looking at it I didn't even open it or anything I was just like this is gonna be too light for me so I went back and switched out for this one so funny when I am filming the video I'll probably bring it up in the reel if it's up by the it probably won't be up by the time this video goes up but follow me on Instagram <laughs> it looks so like just terrible and I don't know if it's because of the lighting on my phone so I'd like turn the lights off and show like okay y'all this foundation does not look trash on my skin <laughs> you know it actually does look really good so I like it. So this is the final look. And of course, I got the powder too. Um, and I, it's the I Am Magic Powder Foundation. And this is in Zaria, which is tan too. So I feel like they have some really good shade ranges. Um, I actually wanted to try out their cream blushes that are not out yet. So probably when I do the YouTube video, I'm going to make sure to have my hands on the cream blush. Ulta has them. I could order online, but they're not like fully out in store yet. So once they are, I'm going to make sure I come back and show you all these products. But I just wanted to feature them in case anybody was wondering what I had on today. This is a full face, pretty much of Juvia's Place products. So I am loving how everything came out. All right, y'all, so we are almost done, but I did want to feature um, some key soul care products. So um, I actually attended a, I think I told y'all, an Ulta Beauty Black History Month event, um, of course, back in February. And um, I got to meet with one of the brand reps for key soul care um, and then also another um, representative of Ulta Beauty. Um, so they started posting that they were hosting a key soul care masterclass. And at first I was like, no, nah, I don't want to go. It's kind of far away and all that stuff. And I was like, no, nah, girl get up and go and y'all I am so glad that I went so th that reel hopefully it won't be up by the time this is up either <laughs> I have so many reels y'all I just need to like get them out and edit it, especially this one since it just happened I really want to keep that mojo going but anyways I had such a great time that was my first time attending a master class and it was so good so we actually got to uh, meet some of the brand reps their social media reps all the things and they walked us through every single product that key soul care has to offer um, there were maybe one or two products that is not officially sold in Ulta but they are officially carried in Ulta but you can also shop on their website as well but we got to try everything y'all and it was amazing so um, before going into that event I have tried their I promise serum and I think I may have talked about it a little bit on my channel here and then I also use their skin transformation cream as my morning as a part of like my moisturizer in my morning skincare routine and I really really like it it kind of gives a little bit of like a lotion consistency but it is not heavy on the face at all so of course you know your girl had to get some more products um so I'm just going to try to run through these super quick and whatnot but they did actually give us a journal so we could use it as a gratitude journal so love that and then I also um so what I purchased um I did get the let me glow illuminating serum and the really great thing about that event was that they actually had an engraver there so I actually got this bottle engraved and this is perfect to use if you want glowy skin so you can use this just as like a normal serum just to, if you don't have makeup on any you know throughout the day you work from home or you just don't wear makeup but you still want glowy skin 
this will be your jam, but I got it because I want glowy skin all the time. <laughs> so yeah, so super pretty packaging. I love it. And the great thing about their products is they always have an affirmation on the back of them. So this one says, I give myself permission to glow. But actually, um, they had somebody reading auras there. So she walked me through it. I probably won't get into it because it'll take too long. But one of the cards was more than enough. So I had that engraved on here. So hopefully you can see it. I don't know if it's going to come up backwards on here, but super pretty so i'm gonna make sure not to throw this bottle away <laughs> um, and keep it once i'm done but i was happy to try that product and then sunscreen this is the sunscreen that i was saying i got full size of so this is their protect your light daily moisturizer um so this is an spf 30 sunscreen but it also has squalene and niacinamide which are really good, especially if you have oily skin. Um, so yeah, so I actually got to test this product out. It goes on clear, does not leave a white cast, which everybody loves. I feel like that's usually the one deterrent from people wearing sunscreen is because they think it's gonna have a white cast, gonna mess up your face. No, you need sunscreen on every day, even if you are not going outside, even if you're not wearing makeup, even if you are wearing makeup, you need sunscreen. So that is why I was thinking about taking Super Goop back because I got a full size of this one since I actually got to try it in store and really liked it and then um, we also got this was free so this one actually came with my bracelet that I'm wearing um, strength I'm gonna have their website listed down below I can't remember the name oh actually it's on here the little words project um, so they have a bunch of these bracelets super cute but they had like little um, I think they had strength they had courage and they had another one I can't think of it but yeah they had these really pretty bracelets but I also got one of these and this is their renewing body and hand wash so um, this one says I love myself as I am and I was super excited about it because it was hand wash I was like I can totally throw this in my purse because how many times have you been to the restroom when you're in public or whatever not in public but you know you're out and about and there's no hand soap and there's nobody around keep this in your purse and I feel like it's a good size this is I don't know how many fluid ounces this is but it's a good size. So I was like, I'm gonna keep this in my purse. I don't know if I want to try this as a body wash because I didn't smell it. I think they said it matches the smell. I don't want to open it just yet. Um, of their candles, which they're candles, y'all. Oh my gosh. Smells so good. I forgot to get the price on those. So they also had them in little minis and gift sets. So Mother's Day's coming up. So if your mom or anybody that is like a mother figure that's in your life loves candle candles, get that. <laughs> so yeah, so got that. And then um, they also gave us some samples. Um, so I got their skin transformation cream, which I told y'all about, but I love it because this is perfect for travel. And then I also got the golden cleanser. So I've been wanting to try the golden cleanser, but I have enough cleansers on my hands right now. Um, so I'm trying to wait until I finish one because, um, I do double cleanse in the morning and at night. Um, so yeah, so that's something that I want to try it on my skin. So this is perfect. I probably want to try it out once and then, you know, I can keep this as a travel size option. And then we also got like this little headband headband excuse me and this is something that you can put on like when you're doing your skincare so your hair is not soaking wet in the front so yeah so I am super excited about all of these key soul care products so I probably need to I mean I just kind of showed y'all but I might do a video where I'm actually showing me using um, the products because I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it enough and I feel like because a lot of people don't necessarily know about it but it is Carrie and Ulta black owned Alicia Keys love it all and so if you have a chance definitely give their brand a try but yeah that wraps up today's video I hope you guys enjoyed my Sephora haul along with my Ulta haul because like I said all these products pretty much came from Ulta and my one little goodie from Nordstrom but yeah I feel like this was just overall good beauty haul can't wait to try these products and I will definitely report back or just give y'all a video dedicated to trying some new makeup products. I really do hope that y'all enjoy those. But yeah, it's your girl Brie. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below your thoughts on the products that I shared and what you plan on purchasing um, here soon. And of course, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.